Limits. Why couldn't I remember anything about limits? This is the limit in the movie Mean Girls. Other people have made videos about this, but hey, I'm allowed to make a video too. In the movie, Lindsay Lohan thinks about this problem for a second and spits off that the limit does not exist. And to be honest, I'm pretty amazed that just by looking at that, you'd be able to tell. But let's, let's work this out. Let's actually solve this limit. And usually when you try to do limits, one of the first things you do is you just plug in, see what happens. And if I plug in, x equals zero here, well, we'd get one minus zero is one inside this natural log. And well, the natural log of one is zero. And then we'd have minus sine of zero, which is zero, okay? And then on the bottom, we'd have one minus cosine squared of zero. Cosine of zero is one, squared is one. So on the bottom, we'd be getting one minus one. In other words, we'd be getting the indeterminate form zero over zero. That's not, does not exist. That's zero over zero. But what we can do with this is we can use a very famous theorem, L'Hopital's rule. And what L'Hopital's rule says is if we get one of these indeterminate forms, namely zero over zero or infinity over infinity, we can take the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator and try the limit again. So this limit is the same thing, same thing as taking the exact same limit, but take the derivative here, the derivative of ln of one minus x. Well, the one minus x goes on the bottom. That's rules for deriving the natural log function. And by the chain rule, I need to multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of one is zero. The derivative of minus x is minus one. So that's the first part. The derivative of sine is cosine. So there's our numerator. And on the denominator, the derivative of one is zero. Fantastic. Here, we'd have to use a chain rule. So this squared, think of that as like the outside function. The derivative of the square function is two times the function to the first power. Well, the derivative of cosine would be a minus sine. Okay, let's try it. Let's try the limit again. Plug in x equals zero. Well, I'd put a zero here. So I'd really just have minus one minus cosine of zero. That's gonna give us negative two on the top. And if I plug in zero in the denominator, well, two cosine of zero is one times sine of zero is zero. And zero times anything is zero. It looks like we're ending up with a negative two in the numerator, a zero in the denominator. And you know what? You're welcome to go ahead and say that that limit does not exist. Now I want you to go ahead and click this link right here. It's a video I picked out just for you, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. Have a great day.